Hey guys, Raj Sanger of Cardi Security. Welcome back to the channel. Today is June the 8th, it's 9 a.m. And the plan is to travel to Scotland. Yes, eight of us in total, uh, driving all the way up to Scotland. Um, in total, we're gonna cover about 1,300 miles. So today, Glasgow, tomorrow, Isle of Skye, and then Fort William, round to Perth, Inverness, back down to Edinburgh. So we'll leave today, Thursday, and arrive back in London sometime on Monday. Now, the question is, which car do I take? So I put it up on my social media, on my Instagram yesterday. Do I take the iconic E46 M3 CSL, which has got the SMG gearbox, a little bit easier to drive, and obviously that iconic carbon intake, you know, the sound of that will just be intoxicating, or do I take my manual, 997 GT3 Gen 1, 3.6 liter engine, a little bit quicker than the M3, I think a little bit more comfortable than the M3. So, all will be revealed in a few moments when I pull one of these cars out. So guys, the 997 GT3 1, that's what most of you uh, selected on my Instagram post. So first things first, let's zero the odometer. We also have a full tank of fuel, as you can see. Got my Kenwood DMX 8021 DAB CarPlay unit, so loads of music on the way, crystal clear, and I'll be using Waze as well. Also got my Kenwood Walkie Talkie, and all of us will be using Kenwood Walkie Talkies en route. I will vlog the journey uh, all the way up to Glasgow and through uh, Scotland, the NC500, Isle of Skye, show you all the landscape, the scenery, some of the roads, blah, blah, blah. And, and on my return, I'll work out how much we spent on fuel, what the average miles per gallon were in this car, and so on, and the total distance covered. So yeah, this is gonna be super cool. I'm gonna now set the GoPro up on a suction cup and get ready to go. So the first day was all about traveling together and getting to Scotland. We stopped off to meet a couple of lads en route at Peterborough Services. I've got to say, plenty of banter en route to pass the time. We then drove straight up to the River Boutique Hotel in Helensburg. Four hundred and forty-two miles travelled yesterday, and we have a full tank of fuel today. Let me show you the cars in our group. So we have Romy's GR Yaris. We have my 997 GT3. We have David's 993 C2 manual. We have friend Paul's 458. Lovely car, absolutely amazing soundtrack on that. We have Jersh's Mitsubishi Evo 5, which uh, Githy is driving because his cars have been giving him some problems. We have Jersh's 996 C2 with Aero Kit, factory Aero Kit, that looks lovely. We have Clive in his GR Yaris, and finally, we have Nadim in his. 964 C4 manual. Let's see if my front lip has survived so far. Well, it's a little bit destroyed as you can see. I think by the end of this trip, I will need a replacement. Lovely landscape here. Amazing view, scenery. So guys, Friday morning, we've hit the road. Um, currently on an A road, and I've got Lock Herman on my right hand side. Uh, gunning it through the gears, beautiful weather outside, absolutely amazing temperature. Currently 14 degrees at 10 a.m. Um, all of us are together, eight cars, a couple maybe a little bit further behind, uh, not much traffic out, even here around Lock Herman are absolutely stunning. Um, the plan today is to head towards the Isle of Skye. According to Waze, it's just under 200 miles away. We'll have a few stop-offs along the point, fuel, lunch, and so on. Keep watching. We 
we travel through Scotland, heading towards north on the A82 here at Loch Lomond with its amazing views and amazing flat roads. Carried on north to the Isle of Skye via the A87, drove around the Isle of Skye clockwise just to get an idea of the landscape, then headed to our final destination, Brackenhide Hotel in Portree. As for that hotel, what an amazing place. The actual log cabins are built into the side of the hills. Uh, can get quite warm in the log cabins, but the actual venue, absolutely fantastic. Morning guys, Saturday 10th of June and we are on the Isle of Skye. Had an overnight stay here at the Bracken Hyde. Let me give you a bit of an overview of yesterday. Most roads up to the Isle of Skye, uh, in Scotland that is, were absolutely perfect. Maybe it's because in Scotland there's so much snow uh, that uh, they're used to these adverse conditions and when they lay tarmac, they lay it properly. But the Isle of Skye, that's just another story. It is, it is full of potholes. I would say for a third of the journey in the Isle of Skye, it's potholes. And some of these are deep potholes, so you have to be very careful and drive slowly. But um, it's about the banter. It's about using the walkie-talkies, having fun, um, looking at the landscape, the views, the scenery, and just the roads, and most importantly, enjoying the car and have I enjoyed driving this thing. My splitter still seems to be okay. A load of crap sitting in there which I'll have to vacuum out. So we're gonna today we're gonna carry on back up the NC500 up to Ullapool and we've been there before fantastic place lovely roads uh, then Elfin and then head down to Inverness using the A9. amazing location the guys managed to find and everything was going fantastic the roads the landscape it was all beautiful morning uh, unfortunately we got pulled over by uh, the police BC plod 
and uh, it's put a little dampener on the mood somewhat. So a little bit cautious since, but nonetheless, we're still having fun. We're all together. All eight cars are together. Um, as for the GT3, performing exceptionally well, which is what you would expect. It's just so planted on these flat roads in Scotland on the NC500. At the moment, we're on the old military road and we're heading towards a hotel, which is in Balmoral. So that's about just over an hour away, uh, 40 miles or so. We did cut our trip short. Uh, we were going to do a little bit more of the NC500 via Ullapool, uh, but due to being pulled over by the police, uh, timings were a little bit off. Um, so yeah, fantastic journey so far. And that flat six, when you're gunning it past 4,000 RPM, as I am now, is just amazing and friggin' loud. Creating memories, guys, creating memories. So we are now heading on down to Balmoral Arms and uh, guys, check out the view. Sunday, we're heading uh, towards Perth. We're gonna go around Edinburgh and past Middlesbrough, so back into England. And we'll be staying about 40 miles east of Middlesbrough. So yeah, we will be back in England. The mood of the group was a little subdued for the last night in Scotland after the issue with the police. After a good night's sleep, the crew pushed on and we continued heading south. So guys, this is just it's heaven. If you're a car guy. Okay, Raj. Yes, I'm talking. Really yeah, this okay. is what it's about. We are just in heaven. We left early again and headed south towards York via Doncaster and stopped off at Car Iconics in Oakham. These guys have an amazing selection of classic and modern classics in stock and in fact a couple of the group have already done deals with them in the past.
We stopped off for lunch. We are at the horse and jockey, is that right? Mm -hmm. Rutland Water, we've just been to Car Iconic. So they've got some lovely metal for sale. I'm gonna go around the table here. I'm gonna speak with my fellow car buddies. So there's eight of us, there's no point in you guys listening to me. So we will start with Paul, who's in that lovely 458 Italia. So Paul. You're on camera. Yeah, <laughs> 458. So how have you found it? Fantastic. So smooth, but grippy floats over the surface. I love it. Even even kept up with Clive in his Yaris. Oh yes, oh yes. <laughs> so Romy, you and your G GR, you were at one, weren't you? Uh, fantastic. It's just got the perfect amount of grip and you can throw it into any situation. Good man. And then we have Gibdi, who's actually driving uh, one of Jayashi's cars. Okay, so I drove the uh, Mitsubishi Evo 5, which I absolutely loved. Um, highly focused car, really focused. The, uh, the suspension on it is like witchcraft. I don't know how it man manages to be comfortable and so planted and gripping the road like the way it does. Highlight of the trip is uh, whoever's is trying to shake off whoever's on my tail, whether it's uh, Paul in, in the Feza or whether it's Clive or Romy in their GRs trying to get them off my tail. All at the speed limit, obviously. We're all below. Yeah, over to Clive. <laughs> the thing is, just being part of a wonderful set of people. People that I genuinely call friends and people that I trust explicitly and I've got faith in it um, um, explicitly. And just having a good laugh for four days until my jaw hurt. Team leader here, James Patel, classic car diaries. Porsche 996, uh, 1998, uh, very early C2 Carrera. Ordinary as you like, 3.4 or 3.4 litre engine. Absolutely phenomenal car. The car looks great. You can all shout out about the headlights. They look fabulous. Uh, handles everything that you throw at it superbly, including comfort. Hey. David, in his uh, lovely 993 C4, uh, talked about the car. How's the car performed? Yeah, look, this is the second time I brought it to Scotland and uh, hasn't faulted at all. Uh, touch wood and kept up with, with uh, all the modern cars. Yes. It's, it's a, almost a 30 year old car. He's no longer called Captain Slow, is he, James? <laughs> no. <laughs> I still prefer to be at the back. I mean, yeah. Yeah, that's, a that's, exactly. a story. that's a different story. That's a different story. That's a different story. Then finally over to Nadim in his, in what is the oldest car here? My car. Yeah, 964 C4. And how's that, how's the car performed for you? The car, uh, it's been great. It's, you can tell it's got 35 year old, 33 year old technology. Uh, I've loved it. I think it looks great, it sounded great. I was thinking about selling it. Now, after this trip, I'm having second thoughts. We're going to enjoy our lunch, guys, aren't we? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Woo! Woo! Uh, excuse me. So, guys, I'm back in the car. Just had a lovely lunch with the crew. And we are now heading home. Uh, probably about two hours, maybe two and a bit, uh, before I get back into London. Just started raining, uh, which the end of the trip is really an issue to be fair it's very muggy outside if anything it'll just cool the day down clear to overtake clear to overtake groovy so guys what have i taken away from this trip a quick overview first and foremost you need to plan your trip you need to use ways google maps whatever you use maybe even go on google earth check the roads check the landscape and uh, check for weather Last year when we went, there's one and a half days, it was just torrential downpours. And it does put a dampener on the driving because obviously in cars like this, in the wet, they're a bit tricky. Some petrol stations, definitely in the Highlands and most definitely on the Isle of Skye, do not offer super unleaded fuel. So if you've got a classic car which runs only on super, you will be in trouble. Um, so, where you have an opportunity, even if you're on half a tank and you're at a big petrol station and you know they've got super, just fill up. Uh, carry, make sure you carry a jerry can with you because uh, ultimately those extra five liters could get you out of a bit of trouble. By the time I get home, I would have covered just over 1,500 miles, uh, which is a little bit more than I thought initially we were going to cover. And I have spent 495 pounds in total on fuel 
with an average of about one pound sixty a litre for the super and leaded. So that's potentially giving me around 22, 23 miles to the gallon. Um, so take that into account in your vehicle. Even if you've got like the GRs, you're probably going to end up spending 350, 380 pounds. So that gives you an idea. If you, these cars are pretty economical. If you have something like a V8, a Jag, or something like that, or a Merc, or whatever, you can imagine you're going to get 12 to 15 to the gallon because you will be driving aggressively. So your fuel cost could be at least 50% more than what I've spent. Keep a lookout for police cars. There are a lot of undercover police cars dotted all over the place. Uh, we got pulled over in a fairly new Skoda estate of some sort, and uh, you would never have thought that's a police car. Um, so yeah, just, just keep an eye out for that. That's where the walkie-talkies come in handy as well. Also, wear and tear on your car. Now, my front splitter was already destroyed from my previous Scotland tour, and although I haven't crashed around too much on this trip, I'm sure I've uh, added a few more scrape marks to that front bumper. There's potentially maybe one or two stone chips that I could have added to the paintwork. This car is not PPF, and I'm sure uh, I've burned some rubber this trip. So the car that performed exceptionally well on that trip was the GR. You could see that handled everything. Whatever you threw at it, it just ate it up and spat it out effortlessly. Every terrain, uh, rain, damp, dry conditions, twisties, curvy roads, hills, blind bends, you name it. That car has got so much grip, it inspires confidence. I do regret not bringing mine, but ultimately there were already two GRs on the trip and I just wanted to mix it up a, a little bit. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this content, our little uh, take on part of the NC500, the Isle of Skye, uh, Yorkshire Dales, uh, up through Scotland and so on. Um, it's been an amazing experience. Thank you to JH Patel, Classic Car Diaries, Horizon Classics for organizing the event. You know what to do, smash that like button and uh, make sure you're subscribed to the channel because we will be going on more trips and I will vlog them again for you guys and bring them to the channel and hopefully uh, you'll enjoy them. Um, and hopefully you've enjoyed this one as well. And if you're watching till now, I'm sure you have enjoyed this one. Uh, drop a comment below. Any questions you have, uh, drop them below or DM me direct and I'll do my best to answer them. Um, so yeah, guys, thanks for watching and I will see you on another episode on Cass TV. Thank you.